Okay, today we're going to be talking about iontophoresis, which is the use of direct current electricity to introduce various drugs to subcutaneous tissues without using invasive means. And it's mandatory that the drug that you use be in an ionic form so the electric current can push the medication into your body. The first thing you need to do is get your supplies and then question the patient and make sure you, that you know the, or verify the identity of the patient and then verify the absence of contraindications. And the contraindication for iontophoresis is pregnancy, implanted electrical pacing devices, cardiac arrhythmias over the carotid sinus area, hypersensitivity, or known problems with medication used in the treatment. And then you want to make sure your, your patient is positioned properly and expose the body part to be treated. And if they need to be draped, then you can drape them. All right, and then you need to inspect the body part that you, is going to be treated, and you need to check the light touch perception and make sure that it's intact, and then it, and assess the function of the body part, like the range of motion or how irritable it is. <clears throat> and then you're ready to begin. So um, the electrodes come in small or large, and we have a small one, and then you're going to, um, First of all, clean the area that's going to be used. Okay. And then you're going to put the electrode right on the area that is um, for the medication. And when you put the medicine on, we're just using water, but you can use um, the other medications, and you're just going to put it in into, or drip it on the thing until the pad is saturated, and then you can go ahead and put it over the area that is to be treated. And then the other electrode is a dispersing pad, which helps push the electrical current um, towards the other electrode and help drive the medicine into the skin or into the body. And um, then you can go ahead and hook this up. Um, depending on what medicine you're using, which we use water, which has, um, it's going to be both positive and negative. Um, and, but if you use a negative um, polarized medication, then you will need to make sure that the negative, um, the negative lead is on the, on the medicine patch, and if you have a positive lead, then you need to make sure that one, or positive medicine, then you can use that on the. Um, so since we're using water, um, it has positive and negative. It doesn't matter which one you can, which one you use. channel one or channel two, but in this case we're using channel one. And you can use it on S1 or S2, it that doesn't matter. And um, when you turn it on, the dose can be 40 um, milliamps per minute or 80 milliamps per second, but if you use 80 milliamps per second, that's for more chronic conditions, and 40 um, milliamps per second is the normal. Um, and then you change it to change the thing over to P and you can change the current and the current depends on the electro electrode size size and the one we have is a small one so you're going to use um, three milliamps but if you had a larger electrode you would use four milliamps okay. and then you could go ahead and turn it to the R and click run, and then your treatment will begin. And then you need to um, tell your patient to tell you when you can feel something. Okay. And then um, once the patient reports the onset of the stimulus, 
adjust the ampl amplitude to the appropriate intensity. And then you need to monitor the patient throughout the whole treatment. Um, and then when you're done with the treatment, you can turn off the machine. And then um, turn the intensity control to zero and remove the conductant with the towel. And take off the electrolyte. Wipe down the part of the body that you um, use. And then afterwards, you just need to assess your treatment and ask how the patient feels and perform functional tests or exercises as next.